In this video, we're going to look at the net worth, how to calculate net worth, and what to look for when you're calculating your family net worth or tracking it as a measure of uh, your wealth. Right, so let's first look at the, this Microsoft Excel file. And by the way, you can download this file. Uh, just look at the description for the video and uh, you should be able to download this uh, Excel file and use it for your own purposes. Um, we have multiple sections here. Section one is assets. So we have three types of assets, illiquid assets, liquid assets and investments. Then we have liabilities, uh, which includes credit card liabilities and loans. And then the net worth is calculated as um, assets minus liabilities. So we have a row which is called total assets, row 12, uh, minus row total liabilities. And that's how um, net worth is calculated. So that's the formula, C12 minus uh, C22. Now, what we see here is column C, D, and E contain a net worth for every five years. And that's future projections, right? Um, that's, um, we're looking forward here. Uh, but you can typically measure it in, uh, for the year past because you, you can collect all financial data. Uh, you can also do some forecasting with the same statement. This is more on the forecasting side. Um, what typically you see if you're doing smart financial management, your net worth is increasing. And net worth, as I mentioned, is the measure of financial wealth. Right? For example, let's take a look at this specific example. In 2018, the majority of wealth growth comes from the 401k. And for, what is 401k? 401k is a stock investment, right? It's, and, and stock is basically uh, typically invested uh, in mutual funds uh, or index funds. Uh, and that's a, uh, that businesses that generate revenue uh, and create profits, and that's how capitalism works. Right? So over time, um, there is a certain rate of growth, um, more in one set of years, uh, smaller in another set of years, but typically that's where gain accumulation happens. Typically when you start out, out of college, you have a lot of debt. For example, you can have uh, debt on the credit card, you can have student loans, which you repay over time in, in uh, five, 10 years, you have uh, smaller amounts of your debt. And that's really the goal of net worth management. Over time, the goal is to uh, reduce liabilities. You can uh, take some liabilities on in the beginning of your uh, life in your mid twenties, but by mid forties, mid fifties, you uh, ideally should pay off your student loans. Um, you should pay off your car loans unless you're changing cars and um, uh, you ultimately um, then losing value. I mean, it's a nice thing to have to, to ride a new car, but cars depreciate in value, as uh, you're well aware. Uh, and you also reduce your uh, credit card debt. That's probably the most expensive debt because typically this is the highest percentage rate. So let's recap. In this video, we've looked at net worth, which is calculated as assets minus liability. And basically what net worth is, is how much money you have after you sell all your assets and pay off all your liabilities. Thanks for watching. Make sure to review the description to this video as it contains the link to the downloads. If you have an opportunity, please leave a review. I read them all and always on the lookout to improve. Here are some opportunities for us to stay in touch. Just click on the links flashing on the screen to sign up for my channel or email list, or maybe both. Take care.